So, it looks like Stranger Things and It have more connections than just Finn Wolfhard and dancing gifs. Twitter user Upside Down Facts theorizes the two stories actually exist in the same universe. But first, spoiler alert. If you haven't watched both of them, stop now. Okay, the theory. Bob Newby once faced off against Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Okay, here's the proof. Sean Astin's character in Stranger Things, Bob Newby, is said to be from Maine, the setting of both the book and the film adaptation of Stephen King's It. Did I ever tell you about Mr. Baldo? Mr. Baldo? He tells Will he used to have nightmares about a clown named Mr. Baldo. <laughs> hey, kiddo, would you like a balloon? Sound familiar? Do you want a balloon too, Georgie? And remember, Pennywise visits every 27 years. In the Stephen King novel, he visits circa 1957. If we assume Bob is in his late 30s to early 40s when we meet him in 1984, he would have been between 11 and 14, the right age to meet Pennywise. And both Mr. Baldo and Pennywise were defeated when the children stopped showing their fears. This time, I stood my ground. I just looked at Mr. Baldo and his stupid face, and I said, go away, go away! Now, it is easy to poke holes in this theory. Mr. Baldo and Pennywise are different names. Mr. Baldo existed in Bob's imagination. Or, you know, none of this is real. But like, shut up. <laughs>